So uh, assume that there is only a fraction of, every person knows uh, only a fraction of the rest of the population and then beta kind of uh, absorbs uh, this coefficient. Uh, so beta encodes both the likelihood of the spread of infection and uh, the link density, so to speak, uh, in the community. But uh, these, uh, these equations uh, proved extremely successful in uh, being applied both to uh, real diseases as well as uh, uh, to, for like marketing purposes uh, um, on the web. Uh, but of course for that uh, it's much more important, I mean it's very important to take into account the topology of the network. So let's see now how we take into account the topology. So this is really kind of, this is, you see, uh, it looks like uh, we are jumping from topic to topic, but the point while I chose these chapters from the book is that uh, this is what you are likely to see if you do marketing stuff. Uh, using social networks, and this is really, really big thing for nowadays, uh, uh, right? Because most of the commerce, uh, the increasing now fraction of commerce is uh, done uh, online, uh, right? In fact, uh, uh, what uh, retailers are very angry today about is that the very large fraction of customers uh, come to store to try, for example, clothes just to see which one fits the, the best and then they go home and buy it uh, uh, through internet, uh, right? So, um, God knows pretty soon that there will be no physical stores uh, around or very few of them. Uh, okay, so how do we take into account, so, far more realistic situation is when you have a bunch of uh, uh, communities right and uh, uh, some of them are uh, neighbors either geographically right say so these are adjacent uh, villages. And uh, it's reasonable to assume that uh, we can kind of find out uh, which fraction of the population each individual communicates with to take it for this type of the model. <coughs> but then uh, these guys, for example, here don't have the direct influence to these guys here if the graph is undirected which is not always the case, of course, so, right? Uh, uh, people tend to go, um, well, you know, they tend to go here, but then come back to the city. But to the number of people from one city visiting the other might be much larger than in opposite direction. And if you want a faithful model, all of this has to be taken into account. And all these, uh, uh, all these constants are obtained by essentially machine learning procedures uh, uh, from historic data. So now the way to handle this case uh, is that you have local parameters. So local SI, II, and recovered I, right, uh, for every single uh, node and uh, of course we also assume that each node has a loop right because uh, everyone people do communicate with other people in the same community so the graph is reflexive so um, 
what are the differential equations then? Well, uh, let a i j be the adjacency matrix. So, right, so a i j equals to one if and only if uh, there exists a, a link, uh, say, from i uh, to j, or say from j to i, maybe it's uh, right? So then uh, we have the following differential equation, say, for our uh, si uh, model. So with topology, uh, you have uh, um, the number of infected people at a city i, at a node i, uh, and the derivative of it. Again, it's proportional to the sum over all j such that, well, actually, say from all j belonging to the graph of the product a i j s i of t times i j of t. <coughs> so, and of course, beta factor in front of this. What is what does this say? Uh, well, uh, the number of new infections in the city is proportional to this coefficient beta of likelihood of spreading the infection between infected and susceptible person. But summation will kill all the pairs. So from such that, that there is no link between J, so it will select only J's from which there is a link uh, to I, right? So infected people from here uh, might spread the disease to infected people here. And of course, because we said that the, the graph is reflexive, uh, the diagonal of this matrix is always uh, 1, right? So uh, it will include whether j is equal to i. Yeah? So how would you improve this model uh, to be more realistic um, by making this graph weighted graph? Uh, what would the, gra the weights correspond to weight of uh, uh, the link J I yeah. rate of transfer. Exactly. You know how many people from here are likely to go here, right? So instead of uh, uh, I J being uh, zero one, you will have weight of I J, which is. Uh, uh, number of people number of uh, people or fraction of people from i sorry from j traveling uh, to uh, i Right, because uh, you have to prorate this uh, by the fraction, of course, total fraction, because we assume that uh, it will be accordingly reflected into the fraction of infected people. But you would have a weight that tells you how strong uh, this uh, communication link uh, is. Of course, rather than thinking about um, real infections, you can this, think about this as local computer networks. And these are 
uh, you know, you, these links you get from the router, I guess, uh, structure. So we can now improve these. Uh, uh, it's, of course, totally obvious. Uh, um, how would we say, let's try to write the differential equation if we take into account uh, also uh, recovery. So this topic, it's really important for, as I say, marketing purpose, for computer security purpose, and it's very convenient for finals because I can give you uh, an example of a network, what is happening uh, uh, in a network and ask you to find uh, the differential equation that governs uh, the, uh, the parameters uh, in this network. Uh, but this is simply, you know, this is a really simple stuff. So the rate of increase of infected people is the rate of communication between infected and uh, uh, susceptible times the infection rate minus the recovery, right? It's a uh, uh, no-brainer. Right? <coughs> but it's really, these differential <coughs> equation models are very uh, simple but uh, uh, very powerful. So what would be now the, uh, the how would, uh, if you have SIR, model, how would you build the, the differential equation? So what is the derivative at a time instant t will be proportional to? First we have always these beta times. Now we will have um, um, contacts between um, adjacent nodes, right? So that will be beta times sum of the product of infected people from all nodes J in G uh, time, well, the uh, adjacency matrix may be weighted, right? Uh, a i j times infected people j times uh, uh, susceptible people in i, right? So notice this s i can actually go outside of summation. Minus you will have uh, gamma times recovery um, in i. Right? Uh, then the recovery in I prime, well, that's no brainer. Ah, yes, so um, here recovery is just uh, uh, from the city that you live in, right? So it will be just gamma times I, I of T, right? Uh, and then, um, do we have uh, uh, anything else? Uh, not if we assume that all recovered people uh, achieve uh, immunity. So obviously, it is very easy uh, to tweak the model uh, to include uh, um, more refined analysis. So here, S plus at every moment. S of i plus i of <coughs> S of t plus i of t plus r of t is the total population m. And this is in fact uh, what is used uh, to uh, model the spread of, say, computer viruses. Uh, right? So it's an extremely important uh, and powerful, simple yet very powerful model. Okay, one related uh, thing is, uh, which you might find very amusing, is the bus marketing model. 
and uh, in a sense it also models a type of infection that I would call conspicuous consumption. Okay, so this is how infection called iMac or uh, uh, iPhone or iPad spreads, right? So this was a work of, it was kind of seminal work, considered seminal work by Bass. Uh, I believe it was in 1969. Right, so way before internet. Uh, and he was interested in the following. Uh, <coughs> a new product is introduced, right? And people uh, start buying it. How quickly the product penetrates the market. So it turns out from empirical data, he realized uh, something very important, that there are two factors that determine how product adoption of a product uh, progresses. Uh, and one factor, which uh, you would kind of guess, would be, what do you think? What is one factor, uh, uh, how quickly a product will be adopted? Intrinsic value of the product right? Whether uh, an iPhone is a useful device and to what degree it is useful. So uh, there are two parameters. Uh, uh, P, which is intrinsic uh, quality or value of a, a product, but it turns out there is another parameter that is just much, much more important. What do you think, besides intrinsic quality of a product, what else makes people buy things? How many actually know about the product? Yeah, say people know about the product, but even if you know about the product, still it's not an in... How trendy it is? Ah, brilliant! Uh, you should get double major <laughs> in commerce. How trendy it is! Uh, and this is called the imitation factor. And it turns out, when you fit a model to this consumer data imitation factor is uh, several times larger than the intrinsic factor. So if everyone around you flashes a new iPad, you are much more likely to buy the iPad, even if you are not 100% uh, convinced that you may need it or that you really need it, right? So, um, in a consumer society, Q turns out to be dominant. And uh, the bus equation is uh, the following. So it's solution, so let's call, um, so uh, N of T is uh, uh, number, of people who purchased uh, a product and M total size of the population. So what we want to track is uh, how uh, the number of people that bought the product changes. So uh, the change of something, rate of change of something is just the derivative, right? Well, this derivative is proportional to two things. First is intrinsic value of the product plus 
imitation factor that multiplies n of t divided by m. This is just to normalize, right, to, uh, to scale the n of t. So this is the fraction of the population uh, that uh, has bought the product multiplied by q. And this all multiplies uh, by the number of susceptible people. What would be here the number of susceptible people? You have those that got it and those that didn't get it yet. So it would be m minus n of t. So this is the remaining uh, fraction of the population who still maintain sanity and didn't rush to buy uh, the product. And this is the famous pass uh, uh, marketing equation, right? Um, that describes the penetration of a product uh, um, into, into a community, right? And uh, interestingly enough, uh, if in fact it has a solution, so n of t, so solution, it looks like this, n of t is equal m times 1 minus e to the minus p plus q times t and 1 uh, plus q over p e to the minus p plus q times t and uh, n prime of t can be shown to uh, be m times p times p plus q squared e to the minus p plus q t divided by p plus q e to the minus p plus q uh, times t and the whole thing squared. Um, and what do they look like? Well, the derivative looks like this. It uh, uh, rapidly, almost exponentially, kind of picks up, right? Uh, achieves its peak at a point that is equal to uh, ln, so natural log, oh, let me write, uh, log of uh, uh, Q divided by P divided by P plus Q. And notice this will be a positive factor just in case Q is larger than P, namely when imitation factor is larger than the intrinsic factor, but it just happens that this is always the case. And uh, uh, the cumulative it, it's just an increasing function that changes concavity precisely at the same point, right? So it will be something like, let me throw it separately here. So it becomes, it's, uh, uh, this is uh, convex, right? And then it becomes concave and tapers off. Uh, and this, of course, where it tapers off depends on uh, uh, the values of uh, P and Q. So the frenzy of buying uh, new iPhone peaks and then eventually um, it goes down because the market becomes uh, saturated. And then of course they do uh, a few um, tweaks and package it as uh, yet another, you know, I, you saw this ad on uh, uh, on TV in which you have this uh, pl mobile uh, plan in which you get a new phone every year. So it tells enough about 
uh, or my favorite example of marketing is uh, the radio commercial for Mercedes. Have you heard it? It says Mercedes because the perception is the reality. <laughs> How about that? Okay, yeah. So please read this in the textbook. It is not it is not terribly exciting stuff, but it is really useful. And most of you will end up working for a company. And uh, in, it will be very likely that uh, you will uh, be confronted with, uh, um, uh, you know, using some of it. So uh, the ability to analyze the social networks and the ability to do kind of basic marketing modeling. You don't have to be a uh, commerce major to be able to uh, do very basic modeling. So this is really extremely important uh, skill to have. OK. So let's see how much time do we have. So any questions about uh, this? As I say, this is ideal for a uh, question for your take home final. So I'll cook up something with the. So this take home final, how long is it expected to take? Okay, up? so it is. Uh, you, I used to do it like you have a couple of days, but the school told me off. Uh, I can do only one day, I know. And it, it, does it show on the schedule? Oh, it's, it's, it's Friday. Friday. It's when? Uh, Friday at the end of Stubac, I think. Uh, isn't it? Uh, the third? It's in November, right? November. Yeah. Oh, the third of November. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so Maybe. you will have it. You know, I have to obey because I get in trouble with the administration quite often, and they had enough of me. So <laughs> I have to give you. Uh, uh, it will be 24 hours, uh, this is the rule. So please book one day, solid day, because there will be lots of stuff to uh, kind of... Uh, but like, is it going to be, it's not going to be released at midnight, is it? It's going to be released, for example, right. 9 o'clock in the morning one day, and we'll be due 9 o'clock in the morning the next day. So yes. we're doing some paper. Sorry? Where do we submit the paper? You email your solutions to me. So you email the thing to us, right? Sorry? So we grab the file, if you email the file, the yes. questions are. Yes. I'll email the. But will it actually take us a whole day to do the paper? Or is it something that, like an exam, you could. Like, well, you, you probably you will not sleep that night. <laughs> no, but it will be, it will be, say, uh, uh, you know, because it's take home, so it's kind of, uh, I have to make it then more <coughs> intricate, so it will probably take, say, six hours to finish up. Yeah? Six hours. Right? So we need to submit the assignment on the same day, right? No. You, so is the, when is the last day of finals? Uh, 22nd of November. The 22nd of yes. November, right? Yeah. So, the, say, so, the, so I'll put it on the web, say uh, the, it will be say 20th of November. I'll try to give you as much time as possible, but I have to have, look, I have to read 70 papers, uh, right? So <coughs> if I read, uh, uh, 20 a day, yeah? right? It will take me four days uh, to to do the whole thing. So I'll see when the grades are due, and uh, I'll then date it so that I have uh, four or five days to uh, do the whole thing. Uh, but it will be towards the very end uh, of the session, of the final session. So until about 20th. Uh, yes? Can we submit more than once? Well, I mean, within the time period. Or do we have to send one email? Only? You, you mean uh, regarding your project? 
Oh, no, no, I mean the, 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 the take home. The take home exam. If we think we're finished at an email you, and then we decide we want to make a correction. Oh, you can make a correction. Okay. I have no problem with that. Uh, but just you have to write on the submission correction so that I don't mess it up. Uh, so like correction one, correction two, <laughs> 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 I have a problem where I submit something in areas, I misspell a whole bunch of words. And then I okay, I mean, I look, I really try to minimally penalize for silly things, right? Okay. So I'm not nitpicking just by a stretch of imagination. I'm really, look, this is really stuff that you will have to deal with out there, right? So what I care is really that you absorb as much of this as possible because it's really, you can see from uh, you know, look at the book, it's all, I mean, it's the stuff that runs nowadays on, uh, on internet and uh, 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 so um, I, I never, you know, I never penalize for spelling errors, grammatical errors or, uh, you know, so if you mess up something, you know, and uh, <coughs> if you are uh, five minutes late and I say forget it, right, no. But uh, <clears throat> I try to really apply totally common sense, and uh, but uh, I have to obey by the regulations, right? Last time I made it three days, and they wanted to scalp me in the student office because it's not possible. Uh, this uh, it was scheduled so that you don't have any other exam during these 24 hours, uh, and uh, if it interacts with another exam, then it's on against the university policy. So I had to make it 24 hours. But So because it's take home, of course, it will be more kind of stuff because I cannot just give away the marks, right? So, But it will be all doable within six hours, piece of cake. Come on, in operating systems, you get uh, right, uh, horrendous so it's horrendously tough uh, assignment to do it within 24 hours for take home, right? Oh. No. <laughs> no? Of course not. Hmm. Is that AOS? Oh, maybe AOS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's AOS. The D. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it will be all reasonable. And so, how should you prepare for the final? Just because it is, of course, open book and right. Just make sure that you understand everything. Uh, yes. Everything in the final exam will be uh, appeared in the lectures, right? Yes. Well, of course, I can do like okay. I can change some of the model parameters, but it will be all doable by what you've seen. It won't be anything that you have to come up from scratch, right? But it will be, of course, look, if you go out there, you are not, your uh, employer is not going to ask you, what's the equation, SI equation? And he will tell you, look, this is, exam <coughs> this is the problem that we have. What should we do in these circumstances? Do you care if we type it or write it by hand? OK, hand? if it's written by hand, it, if I cannot read it, I'm not going to use linear P decipherment methods uh, to read your paper. So it has to be readable with, uh, with a reasonable effort only. You don't have to type anything. It's perfectly fine to just scan handwritten notes, but it has to be readable. Sometimes I get stuff that I simply cannot even tell that something is written, really, and not just a squiggly line. So, right? So your part of the job is <coughs> to make it such that I can really read it without pulling my hair. I don't have much left, so it might... <coughs> right? So we have a deal, eh? Okay, so read, the, just look at the lecture notes. You might want to look at the recordings. And the book is really wonderfully written, right? Um, and make sure you understand everything. If you find anything perplexing, right? Just come to my office anytime. I don't have office hours. You just knock, knock, and 99% uh, um, I can see you, right? So um, 
uh, do yourself a favor because you won't believe how, just it's impossible to describe how important these things are because they are happening right now. It's really this internet revolution when the whole business and social networks, come on, social networks 10 years ago, that was just for weirdos. So. <laughs> right? And look now, you know, it's amazing. You know, my, in my grandmother's village that is on the top of a mountain, uh, right? Uh, surrounded only by goats, right? <laughs> Everyone has Facebook page. Uh, unbelievable, right? So. <laughs> Because of that, uh, really, the economy changes totally, and ability to adapt, uh, uh, to understand the basic mechanisms that are used, uh, are, it's really, really important. Uh, uh, everything, I chose the stuff to show you just on the basis of uh, how important it is for uh, your employment, really. Okay? Okay, so <clears throat> next time we will talk a little bit about ba Bayesian inference, uh, and uh, we have only one week left, right? Good. Okay, so study hard, uh, and if you have questions, uh, please come anytime. Uh.